Hi there, my name is Azra and I have Ehlers Danlos Syndrome, um, hypermobility type, and I have another rare type of disease which is called Kian Box. Kian Box is avascular necrosis of the lunate, which is a bone, with, you know, in your wrist. Um, it's right in between your hand and your arm, basically. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> but um, it's like uh, the bone that's responsible for making you do a flexion and extension of your wrist, and it's in the middle of the wrist. So I had I had a surgery, a flexible row carpectomy for it. And I just wanted to, I guess, try to influence some medical researchers to look into possible links between avascular necrosis and Ehlers Danlos syndrome. Um, I found at least one more YouTuber who posted their video and has avascular necrosis and Ehlers Danlos syndrome except in my case it was the wrist and the other person it was I think somewhere in the leg, a bone in the leg. Um, so that's definitely something to look into. Um, I'm not sure if it was the Ehlers Danlos syndrome or if that other person has um, maybe uh, some type of dysautonomia. I have dysautonomia uh, which is um, this autonomy was syncope, and that's basically where you pass out because um, your blood doesn't get pumped back. You know, it tends to stay in your lower limbs, so in your leg area, and it doesn't come back up when you change position, when you stand up when you squat, when you, in my case it used to happen also when I lifted my hands up in the air, like when I used to yawn. Um, I used to pass out in in a seated position as I'm sitting down and I would, yeah, so. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what's happening. Um, so this is day three of my proximal rural carpectomy, they took out three bones, the la basically uh, three bones which are located in this region right here and um, they took those bones out and they took out two nerves which were in the middle of my wrist and um, that's so so as to prevent basically having pain in the area. Um, I believe that according to my doctor at Mayo Clinic, he said that I could have, best case scenario, 50% chance of movement. But um, I saw a lot of people say that they didn't really have 50, they had more like 20 or something. So it all depends on your body, I guess. And um, me having Alexander syndrome, basically I'm not sure how lucky I will be with that. Um, um, yeah, so that's basically been, um, you know, it's been a bit of a struggle. Um, so yeah, it's gonna take a while, I mean hopefully it will not.